This here is our 1946 baby, or the resurrection of baby, if you will, because she was so worn out. Uh, the vast majority of the nuts and bolts on this bike have been replaced with something else, uh, except for the motor and tranny. We had to find an original paint front end for it, because the front end had been replaced with an offset springer that wasn't even original paint. The frame and oil tank are original paint. The sheet metal is an old era repaint, as we've mentioned before. The front end is all rebuilt. The wheels have been relaced and cleaned up. These are original spokes. The hub is rebuilt. We do have to put the right end cap on it still here, so it's just sitting there for right now. You notice the tire's missing. <laughs> yeah, tire's missing. So Duncan has talked me into going with some modern reproduction cokers instead of the original backside where they wanted to, so we'll put them on. We can always change them out, I suppose. I get real unhappy with it. But the backside we're able to find for the rear just don't have very much tread. Again, the motor and tranny are all done. It's all fresh. None of this is repainted. So we just got the return line. Finally found one. We were missing the right one. We've got to clean that up. Nothing repainted, nothing replated. It's all era or original plating stuff. Home from back in the day. The seal will light up. The horn will be working on it. Lights will be working. So everything's just kind of set here right now. So but the front end is actually on. So gotta do the handlebars. There's some tanks over there. Piles of nuts and bolts and parts and so forth. So she's coming along. This is the original cat on the spokes. I was originally intending to put some era full hubcaps on it, but I like these spokes so nice. I'm gonna go with that. So there she is. This little piece was incredibly difficult to find this little. It's a keeper is what it is, a lock tab. Man, we played how getting that. So our dash, Speedo, it's all rebuilt. Dash is rebuilt. And she switches, came, switches rebuilt. Yeah, switches rebuilt. She came with a earlier era chrome dash, which was missing the right gauges. And right after I found the gauges, then I found this correct 46 dash. It was chrome back in the day with the right little gauge covers here so she's coming along we use the NOS coil on this one so it's an old stock coil and she's just coming along so we've got we've got to repair this and blend this in but I've got an old stock little pieces here and show the little bullet lights and all that with the, yeah. that part of the, that's what we're doing now yeah, we're just all the rebuilding the sockets working the yeah. Working on the wiring and rebuilding the sockets, all these little lights will light up on the sides here. So she's coming along, we're going to put on a little duckbill front fender tip here. And she's going to go right underneath that, make it all work. That's how she's going to look there. So these are non reparkerized NOS springs. So uh, the nut and bolt, Duncan has been cursing me nightly in his <laughs> dreams of all the wrong nuts and bolts we've had to correct on this bike. It's one thing to disassemble and remember the right nuts and bolts, and nothing is half your nuts and bolts are incorrect or missing. And we're using all the right stuff for a 46. So, um, the more we're, I mean, the bike's not done yet, but the more we're learning about this bike, we're both we're sitting here with our mouths open, and it's, how did this bike not get chopped? <laughs> Just can't believe it. It doesn't make any sense that this bike was able to go through its life and stay in its basic stock configuration, but it did. So we're putting it back as what it was, an era custom. Um, you know, I mentioned before, uh, an original paint bike, they're very cool, they're very rare, and they're a lot more common than an era custom paint, because that was the first stuff that got chopped. The second it became not cool to have your custom style, just like today. Who wants a, a custom chopper from 10 years ago? Nobody. Can't sell them. Unsellable stuff. Fifty thousand dollar choppers can't bring five grand. Well, same thing happened with this stuff. The same. As soon as it was out of trendy, cool to have all this era custom stuff that people did, uh, they got resold. It was not cool to ride it no more. And the next guy came along, bobbed it. The next guy came along, chopped it. It should have had an extended spring and a rake neck. 
1975. Should have. That's whatever reason for it to happen. You know, so it somehow was put put away, forgotten about, and refound and rediscovered. And so we're, we're excited. It's coming. Uh, I, I'd say we're still probably a couple months away. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I don't, as much as I want the spike done yesterday, I don't want to rush it. I want it done right. So, I mean, everything has been gone through. Every nut and bolt has been carefully cleaned. Make sure our threads are good. Everything's been rebuilt. Um, it, it's going to be an amazing piece of history when we're done. So, very uh, anxious. <laughs> As I always say, very anxious. But uh, she's coming. Anyhow, guys, 46. It's an early 46 knucklehead, and uh, we're, we're getting there. Keep you up to date on this one here. Talk to you next time.